Okay, so hello YouTube, my name is Vlad for and what I have in front of me is Sapphire Pulse ITX, a very small one. I actually uh, borrowed this thing from a computer shop in order to test it. So, without further ado, let's open it and let's well, unbox it. Okay, so there you have it, this is the uh, Radon 570 ITX, it is a Sapphire brand. And basically, there is nothing much to show. It's designed for gaming and we won't be using it for that and I do need to open this somehow. Yeah, I need to devise a method on how to open this without uh, breaking the seal. Be right back. So this scalpel was a bit sharper and this is actually a success. So let's unbox it and believe it or not I actually have another GPU which I need to install into a, well, a Mac. But that's a story for another video, which I won't be recording because it's a boring one. I hate these boxes, I seriously do. I usually destroy them because I don't care about boxes, but in this particular case, I really do need to take care of the box. So let's take a look at what's inside. So this is the GPU in all its glory. We have drivers, we have manual, quick installation guide, which we won't be well, looking at. And there is nothing, seriously. There is no protective sticker whatsoever. Cool. So, you know what? I should look for the serial number and uh, applying some professional crap tape. And done. So, let's open it and let's see what's inside. This is actually a rather small GPU. It's actually blatantly small, seriously. This is the entire card, and believe it or not, it actually looks dirty, and uh, I just opened it. Seriously. What the hell? Well, anyway, this is the car. It has a single fan, which I'm kind of inclined not to believe in its quality. Let's see whether the BIOS is somewhere around here. Yeah, this is the, actually the BIOS chip, I believe. This is the uh, smaller form, 25-something. So basically if you screw up this card you can actually program this chip and that is pretty much it. Um, I will be dumping this uh, BIOS and uh, will be dumping a modified version as well and uh, well placing it into the description of the video so you can download it obviously. So uh, the next thing I will be doing is actually, yeah this is professionally made, uh, the next thing I will be doing is uh, well, uh, inserting this thing into my computer and testing the uh, out-of-the-box speed of mining and uh, testing with modified BIOS and I will be also, uh, yes, I will be also measuring the uh, power consumption of the car but out of the, uh, out of the wall. Okay, be so kind to ignore the dust and uh, let's, well, let's insert this little jigger. Now bear in mind that this is R9 390, I believe. This thing has 28 mega hashes out of the box, which is awesome. Now I never did actually overclock it because I use it strictly for gaming, but this is actually a very good GPU. One that likes a lot of power definitely, but a good GPU. Check out the size of this card. And let's insert this little beast inside. Okay, it only uses uh, six connectors, that is awesome. I need to connect the monitor. Okay, so this is pretty much it and after it boots I will be starting mining with, well, default settings. Before we start I would like to measure the uh, wattage that my computer uses when it does absolutely nothing. Now bear in mind I do have a UPS in here and whatnot, so the power consumption will be a bit bigger than expected. So it uses 233 watts. Well more or less, but let's say it, it is 233 watts. Okay, refresh it a bit. Yeah, 233 watts, okay. So let's start the miner. Now believe it or not, I already did start miner and I waited for some time, but yeah, I forgot to turn on my microphone and there was no sound and I just didn't have the willpower to, well, dub the sound, so yeah. Let's start it. Now the one thing I did notice about this card, which kind of drives me insane, is that the fan is actually at zero and then it just speeds up and then uh, it spins for some time and it's very loud and then it just shuts down again. So it is quite annoying. 
Now this is 19.2 megahertz. Now bear in mind this could be due to I am uh, screen capturing. So now do you hear this? This is the sound of the fan, and it will be spinning for some time, and it will just shut off. Like the profile, it d just doesn't have that um, well fine tuning of speed, I suppose. I mean, if this fan was like 20% slower, it would be probably uh, way quieter, and yet it would constantly cool the GPU. So, okay. So yeah, so 19.2, 19.3. Now bear in mind that after I. Uh, when I turn off my screen capture, now it's all annoying, but when I turn off my screen capture, it's around 19.5. Now what I will be doing is actually dumping this BIOS with ATI Win Flash and modding it with this uh, newer version of Polaris, Polaris BIOS Editor. Now unfortunately I don't know where I placed the executable, but I will find it. So there, uh, it's 19.3. Now let's dump this BIOS and uh, let's modify it. Now to dump this BIOS all you need to do is run ATI Win Flash as an administrator and basically just click on save button. So right click, run as administrator, yes. And now you have to wait and basically that is it. All you need to do is click on save and we shall name this the uh, pulse original dot rom. And I will be saving the file, and that is pretty much it. You have successfully dumped the BIOS. Okay. So uh, let's open this uh, BIOS editor. Okay, so believe it or not, I had to download the BIOS editor from my own website because, well, for some reason, I, uh, I deleted it. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Okay, let's open the BIOS just a second. So, uh, as you can see, I did open the uh, BIOS and actually all I need to do is click one click timing patch and Hynix memory was found and the uh, good strap was loaded. Okay, Hynix and Elpida straps found. Ooh, go figure. Now this thing actually does not sound promising because I could break a card. Now on the bright side, uh, I... Uh, I do have a programmer, so yeah, let's do it. Now I will be changing to 1950 because I know that most of memories do work at that speed. So I will be saving this BIOS and flashing it. And this is the modded BIOS file. Now let me enter command line and let me flash this BIOS. So now the only thing left for me to do is to kill her. <laughs> Just a joke. Okay. Flash minus F minus P zero past modded dot rom and this should be it. Yeah, okay. So basically everything is the same. The chip is the same. And I will be rebooting my computer after I uh, after I flash this card. So let's hope this thing does work because uh, uh, the uh, patcher <laughs> did detect two memories and I don't think that that is possible but it will be a new experience uh, if this thing fails okay let me go biglive.com for a moment and uh, when my computer is doing nothing the power consumption is about 233 watts now let's check this thing again just to be sure okay 224 after a successful boot up so okay 230 watts Okay, now because as I said before I have a UPS and whatnot, the power consumption is a bit greater. Uh, now we'll be starting mining with uh, default settings, so no overclocking, no nothing, just GPU and let's uh, mega hashes and let's see what the power consumption will be. Just a second, I will be starting mining. Now it is authorized. You should be able to hear the fan spinning up because I've set fan to 100% so that you can hear it. Okay, it started mining and this is around 325 watts. This is actually 322 watts, 312 watts, 314 watts, seriously, oh yeah, just started. So 321 watts, 320 watts. Seriously, the power consumption of this card is awesome. 
Okay, 325, 331. So, around 100 watts. This is awesome, actually. This is by default. Even less than 100 watts. And the speed is around 19.5 mega hashes. Okay. Now, for some reason, the fan just turned off, although it's actually mining just fine. Oh, it turned on again. As I said before, uh, I did flash uh, GPU and let's see uh, what did I actually get any better results or worse or what not. So, let's see. Now bear in mind that I am capturing screen, so results might be a bit, I would say, under the weather, but yeah, let's see. And I will be also checking the power consumption, so 309 watts, 318 watts, okay, but 24 mega hashes, which is, I guess, better, but not nearly good enough. So, I will be trying to... Well, first of all, you know what, I will be starting GPU-Z just to see uh, which memory is actually there. So, just a second. Okay, I did start the GPU-Z. So, memory is Elpida. Now, I will be trying to flash Elpida's uh, strap just to see whether my strap is any better than this one. This is so this one, this BIOS uh, modifier, this Polaris, bi this Polaris BIOS editor actually does enhance the GPU, 24.3 mega hashes. Now I believe if I do turn off the screen capture, it will be around 25. And that's nearly not good enough. So what I will be doing is uh, trying my own uh, memory uh, strip. So let's test that. Okay, so... Uh, it seems that actually this uh, value over here is the same value I've got. So what I will be doing is changing memory to maybe 2020. Now I don't want to go too high so that I do not screw up uh, well RAM, but yeah, let's try it. So, after all of the flashing and whatnot, I still have 24.4 mega hashes. Now, I did notice one thing, and that is that I was running Etherminer 9.4, and this is version 10.2, which is the latest. But still, there are no differences whatsoever, and I did, uh, in the end, uh, I did eventually downgrade to memory to 1950 megahertz, because everything above that would just crash. So, first of all, I need to find my Sharpie. Okay, so uh, I did uh, flash the GPU and I needed to uh, patch the drivers. Now let's see the power consumption. This is actually interesting. I dare to say this is this might not be that precise device. To, oh, seriously. Okay. Let's make this 180. 181 okay I would say this is 180 watts just to get the rough rough estimate of the uh, power consumption so I will be starting the uh, I will be starting the uh, miner and let's see how many mega hashes did we get and uh, what will be the uh, power consumption with uh, well flashed GPU okay after everything is said and done, this is the uh, best result I got with the blockchain drivers. Now the good part is, yeah it is booting, now the good part is that it actually draws around 100 watts, which is actually quite nice.
Now I assume that it can even it can be lowered since I did not uh, mess with the uh, settings for uh, GPU. So yeah, unfortunately uh, I did not get anything better than 26 megahertz uh, with Windows 10. So there you have it. Um, I'm not quite sure whether this thing is good or bad, but these are my results. So uh, this is just to give you the idea what this card can and cannot do. Unfortunately I did not um, overclock it with software and I didn't want to because I didn't want to screw something up because I would have to pay for this card and I do not want to pay for this card. So if you have any questions please ask, leave a comment down below. If you already tested this card and you got better results also leave a comment down below and definitely leave a BIOS that you've modded and uh, yeah that is pretty much it. Uh, the uh, mod that I had was stable so I am assuming that 1950 MHz is something that should work with uh, well every card I, I suppose. If, uh, if, uh, if you have the problem that uh, your uh, drivers tend to crash or your windows tend to crash just lower the uh, frequency of the uh, GPU of the uh, memory of the GPU and it should work just fine. So there you have it. Cheers.